The story begins with one of our clients who had been looking for a 400R. And last year we found one selling in Japan, but as you can see, it is by no means in great condition. The bumper's cracked, the headlamp is scratched, and the front bonnet has obvious signs of damage repair. However, the chassis engine and drivetrain are all in great condition as the car has just covered 29,000 kilometers. Many cosmetic flaws, but underneath this beat up body lies a very solid car. So, we bought it for the client and his instructions were simple. He wanted the car restored to all original spec, just as it was when it rolled out of the Nismo workshop in 1997. Yes, sir, we say, and the project commences. Lucky us, we have the original brochure plus these very rare 400R service and parts menus as our go-to reference Bibles. No sweat then. First step is procuring parts, and I mean lots and lots of them. Of course, all genuine Nissan and Nismo parts only. Fortunately, Nismo still had a new 400R bumper and bonnet in stock, so we snatched those up too. Now what's next? To the paint booth and cue the music. Once it's out of the paint booth, all glass gets fitted back into the car. All inner and outer rubber seals, plus the cowl, are all new Nissan items. Up next, we're putting the car up on the hoist and removing the wheels. We're giving the undercarriage a good detail, making sure that when the car is done, it'll be factory fresh from top to bottom. By the way, the car has already undergone a major service before we got our hands on it. All fluids have been changed, so it's great timing for us to clean up any leftover oil residue. The underside of the car has been completely clean now. You can see the 400R has this gorgeous titanium exhaust system. We're going to spend a little more time detailing it. First, a bit of cleaner to further decontaminate the surface. Then we apply a layer of metal wax which rejuvenates and adds a layer of protection to the titanium. The engine bay also gets a cleanup while we're at it. Just ultra satisfying to see years of dirt and grime coming off the car. While the car is up on the hoist, new Nismo rotors and pads are next, which is a very straightforward installation. We're giving the calipers a few layers of high heat glass coating to protect, plus making them easier to clean afterwards. As you remember, the original right headlamp was damaged. Bad news is, Nissan does not have these earlier non-HID units in stock anymore, so we sourced the best second-hand units, gave them a good polish, and on they go. Other parts are being fitted too, and for now, all the dirty work has been done. We are giving the car a wash to make sure we didn't leave any dirt or debris on the paint surface. Ah, 
Up until now, you may have been wondering why such a gorgeous car is being seen with such tired looking wheels on it. Not to worry, we've got it covered. The original 400R wheels were sent back to Nismo for full restoration and they did not disappoint us. They are literally brand new, absolutely stunning to look at. Tires are then fitted and just like the brake calipers, we apply a few layers of glass coating to help protect them from the elements. New Nismo wheel nuts are a must and we lined the wrench with some Teflon film inside and out. That way the new nuts would not get any nasty scuffing when we tighten them up. Finally back on the ground and next on the menu is paint correction. You may be wondering why we're going to the trouble of polishing out a brand new paint job. When the clear coat's applied, it may not be perfectly even, so we're going to spend the next few days going over this car in extreme detail to make sure that it's as smooth as a mirror by the time we're finished. It's time to apply the iconic 400R side stickers. We are using the Nismo instructions plus the original catalog to find the most accurate placement. Then it's just a matter of using a pair of super steady hands and carefully applying them. Next up is the rear 400R badge. Again, using the catalog as a reference, we pinpoint the exact location using some masking tape. The rest looks easy enough, right? We then apply five layers of nano-titanium glass coating, which creates a 10 micron rock-hard glass barrier to protect the paint. Makes cleaning a lot easier too, as the glass coating is super water repellent. The exterior of the car has been polished and coated, and you might think that we're ready to wrap this project up, but we haven't even begun to work on the interior, so let's start on that. Step one is always easy, and that's just to remove all the interior parts. We are giving the carpet a good cleaning extraction, which is much easier with all the interior parts out of the way. The brand new dash is getting prepped by fitting all the air conducts back where they belong. Then it's ready to go into the car. The old radio unit had some blemishes here and there and lucky us we found a rare new head unit selling locally. Along with a new aircon panel fascia, the whole unit goes back as one big piece. The old instrument panel cover is out, making space for a new one. A bit of compressed air to clean up the gauges, then a very easy job of snapping on the new one. New switches go onto the main control panel and then we pop the whole thing back into place. One special detail on this car is the 400R emblem on the center console. We cut loose the old emblem and put on a new one. Then it's all new parts from here. All components of the center console are new Nissan parts. They're quite easy to find as they're generic Skyline R33 GTR parts. Pedal covers are often overlooked, but not by us. A new set is ordered and installation is very easy. Then on go the other bits of new trims back in their places one by one. The rear seats are in great condition. Almost seems like no one has ever used them for the last 23 years. All they need is a good cleanup and they're ready to go. 
At this point, you might think that we would give the front seats a good clean before putting them back in. I mean, they're in excellent condition given that they're 20 plus years old. But perfection is what we're after. And look what we have here. Yes, we got a pair of brand new Nismo front seats. They're extremely expensive but look absolutely gorgeous and will make such an impact on the interior. Next in line is the steering wheel. The original wheel, you can see the leather has been worn shiny. It's got some marks on the hub and we're just not going to use this one. Nismo doesn't sell the 400R steering wheel anymore, but we found a brand new one from an Instagram lead and it still has the original box and packaging. Very rare and again, very expensive, but well worth it. The horn emblem gets a good polish and would you just look at the result. Onto the doors, new vapor barriers are being fitted along with other bits behind the doors. Sadly, new door panels are not available from Nissan anymore, but thank goodness the existing ones are in good nick. A bit of cleaning is all they need, then we assemble them with all new switches and trim. These floor mats are actually very rare as they are the original 400R mats with the old style Nismo logo. A bit of elbow grease and extraction cleaning and they're as good as new. And here comes the final piece of the puzzle, a brand new titanium shift knob. I mean, just super satisfying to spin on this last piece which completes our interior restoration. Back to the outside, the last bits of exterior trims are put back in place. Every sticker on this car is new, right down to the spoiler end plates. They're carefully lined up and meticulously laid in place. Hidden inside the trunk is the rear tower bar. The existing one is a bit tired looking. You know the drill by now, right? everything new. Last minute new parts arriving for the engine bay so we just keep on trucking. Air filters are filthy but the 400R has the special edition M's factory k &N. Not to worry, though ultra rare, we found a new set in Japan. A layer of filter oil and in they go. The front 400R emblem is the same as the rear one, carefully sticking it on the mounting plate and one simple nut to secure it. Finally, the icing on the cake, a brand new engine oil cap. Again, this is very rare to source as it has the old Nismo logo and it perfectly complements this immaculate engine bay. And come on, that should really be the end of the project, right? I promise this is the last over-the-top detail we're going to throw at you. The 400R comes with this really unique key and we wanted to do something special because it's a special car. So we were able at great expense to obtain a brand new factory cut key from Nismo. But we couldn't do something that special and just give it to the new owner in a Ziploc bag. So that got us thinking. And one day we found this Japanese company that makes these awesome looking billet aluminium Nismo business card holders. So why don't we transform it into a key holder? Simply pad the base and we then computer die cut a piece of foam that shaped exactly like the key. Glue the foam down, put the key in and slide the cover back on and look at this. We have the perfect key holder. And with that ladies and gentlemen, our 400R is finally ready.
I was given two tasks. First, to shake the car down. Now, I can tell you, just driving on the way to this filming location, everything is working absolutely perfectly, no issues whatsoever. And secondly, how does the car feel? I can tell you right now, it feels absolutely awesome. It feels like a new car, it drives like a new car, it even smells like a new car. So rather than wasting your time listening to me, I'm going to let the camera do the talking. I hope you've enjoyed this video and see you again soon. Oh, oh.